Mr. Willib is well worth catching, Miss Dashwood. Miss Marianne must not expect to have all the men to herself. But what do you know of Mr. Willoughby, Sir John? Decent shot. There's not a bolder rider in all England. But what is he like? Like? What are his tastes, his passions, his pursuits? Well... He has the smartest little bitch of a pointer. Was she out with him yesterday? Where is Alanham, Sir John? Alanham? Nice little estate, three miles east. He's to inherit it from an elderly relative. Lady Allen's the name. It's kind of random. I shall go outside and keep watch. Hello, You're all on the lookout for Willoughby, eh, dear me, poor Brandon? You will none of you think of him now. Come in. Good morning, Brandon. Good morning. How's the invalid? Oh, thank you so much, Colonel. I don't know. <laughs> Miss Marion, I cannot think why you should set your cap at Willoughby when you've already made such a splendid conquest. I have no intention of setting my cap at anyone, Sir John. Mr. Willoughby, Lady Allen's nephew? Why, he visits every year for his to inherit. Um, and he has a very pretty estate of his own, you know, Miss Dashwood. Coo Magna in Somerset. Yeah, if I were you, I would not give him up to a younger sister for all this tumbling downhill. Ah, uh, uh, the man himself. Come, Brandon, we know when we are not wanted. Let us leave him to the ladies. Thank you so much for calling. Marianne. Colonel and Sir John are leaving. Goodbye, Sir John. Colonel, thank you for the flowers. How do you do, Colonel? How does he do? How do you do, more like? Go on in. And they're waiting for you. Come, Brian! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Willoughby, what a pleasure to see you again. The pleasure is all mine, I can assure you. I trust Miss Marianne has not caught cold. You found out my name. But of course. The neighbourhood is crawling with my spies. <laughs> and since you cannot venture out to nature, nature must be brought to you. Oh, how beautiful. These are not from the hothouse. Ah, oh, I see mine is not the first offering, nor the most elegant. I'm afraid I obtained those from an obliging field. And I've always preferred wildflowers. I suspected as much. Eleanor, would you please? Oh, yes. Excuse me. Our gratitude, Mr. Willoughby, is beyond expression. But it is I who am grateful. I've often passed this cottage and grieved for its lonely state. Then the first news I had from Lady Allen when I arrived was that it was taken. I felt a peculiar interest in the event which nothing can account for but my present delight in meeting you. Pray <laughs> sit down, Mr. Willoughby. Thank you. Oh, who is reading Shakespeare's sonnets? Marianne. Oh. <laughs> Marianne is reading them out to us. And which are your favourites? Without a doubt, mine is 116. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds, or bends with the remover to remove. Then how does it continue? Oh, no. It, it is an ever-fixed ever fixed mark that looks, looks on storm. Oh! It's, is it tempest? I do believe it is tempest. Let me find it. It's strange you should be reading these, but look, I, I carry them with me always. Oh, oh how beautiful. Until tomorrow, then. And my pocket sonnets are yours, Miss Marianne. A talisman against further injury. Goodbye. Thank you. Good work, Marianne. You've covered Shakespeare, Scott, all forms of poetry. 
Another meeting will ascertain his views on nature and romantic attachments, and then you will have nothing left to talk about, and the relationship will be over. I suppose I have erred against decorum. I should have been dull and spiritless and talked only of the weather or the state of the roads. No, but Mr Willoughby can be in no doubt of your enthusiasm for him. Why should he doubt it? Why should I hide my regard? No particular reason, only that we know so little of him. But time alone does not determine intimacy. Seven years would be insufficient to make some people acquainted with each other, and seven days can be more than enough for others. Or seven hours, in this case. I feel I know Mr Willoughby already. If I had more shallow feelings, I could perhaps conceal them as you do. Marianne, that is not fair. I'm sorry, Eleanor. I did not mean that... Don't yourself, Marianne. I do not understand her, Mama. 